what up big Kirk 916 positivity motivation never settle for average go pick up some merch at big Kirk 916.com and represent and grab your bar of soap while you at it and wash your ass I don't know if you guys have been to Target lately but what they're promoting is um beyond anything I would imagine as a parent. And I'm not a parent. I don't have any little children, any 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 teenage daughters or kids. Um, I have a stepdaughter, but if I did, I would not shop in Target anymore. When I seen underwear for little boys that are are, that are uh, in reference to tucking and shirts for little girls about suppressing it tells me that they got some pedophiles running some shit in corporate target because little kids have no idea what it means to tuck most grown adults don't know what it means to tuck and talking about suppressing a, a little girl doesn't think about that why can't kids be kids why are people pushing so much confusion i can tell you why because children at the age from nine months up until five six seven eight they don't know right from wrong they can pick up on multiple languages they're they're very observant they pay attention to little things they have a lot of questions they are at a very critical learning phase in their development their 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 brain is absorbing a lot of different facial features body language and things like that There's a lot of people out there that are behind the sick grooming bullshit. There's no other way to put it, man. As an adult, I didn't know a lot of things in regards to understanding sexuality until I was in my 20s. I knew uh, that they were boys and girls, but as a, as a child, but there was no emphasis on anything sexual or any reference to uh, the nature of tucking and suppressing. This agenda, man, for you parents out there who are, you know, thinking, you know, little Jenny, little, little Timmy, um, need to be making their own choices. You're destroying, you're destroying your, your, your kid's future. And I have a feeling that they're going to really be upset with you about it because by the time they can really comprehend what has been, uh, programmed into their, into their minds. They're gonna. Uh, they're not gonna be able to uh, reverse the damage. The dependency on the 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 pharmaceuticals to maintain whatever behavior you're pushing. The coping with the future mental illness. So the self medicating we're destroying these kids man I'm not destroying them but the narrative is by design you play with Tonka toys you have tea time you have your easy bake oven you have the gardening you have you know, Barbie doll time, you have this and that. Those are kid things, man. You're coloring a coloring book. You're playing around. I don't recall, you know, 
anything to do with sexuality until junior and in, in, in high school when you sign a permission slip to go to sex ed class. They didn't have strippers reading books in class. They didn't have anybody shaking ass in elementary school or grade school. Wasn't none of that. Wasn't none of that going on. And any adult who takes pleasure in that, who thinks it's entertaining, they're a predator. They're a groomer. 20 years ago, that would have been a wig split. A grown man walking into a school dressed like that for young people, on a, especially if it was on a military base where I went to school at, oh, that was a beat down, man. That was a beat down. This is, uh, it's, it's mind blowing. And I look at like a lot of these corporations, whether it's Target, whether it's now you got a Ford, you, whether it's Adidas, uh, maybe their, their whole objective is to crash their stock, man, and short it. Maybe they're shorting their stock purposely. They know people like the Dylan Mulvaney thing and the fact that Bud Light lost all that money. I wouldn't doubt if some of the executives shorted their stock and they wanted to basically fold up a lot of you guys' 401ks with the investments. Think about that. You talk about the narrative and whatever, uh, what is it, uh, equity, diversity, diversity, whatever inclusion they're, they're trying to push. I think they're, they're, they're shorting their own stock to make money and then they're going to flip it and, and, and do something to bring the stock back up. But they're playing a stock market game. And, and this is a ploy on how to uh, create a downturn for their benefit, but it's basically tanking these people's 401ks, whoever are invested in these, these, these stocks, thinking that they're gonna be sustainable. I grew up in San Francisco, going to school, living in the Bay Area. There were, there were, there were Vietnamese, there were Laos, there were uh, uh, Cambodian, Samoan, black, white, uh, Indian, everything, man. Gay, trans, you know, you had Polk Street, you had the Tenderloin. Nobody tripped, man. It wasn't like, you know, you you seen, I seen, when I was a kid, I used to see men dressed as women, this and that, but it was like, you know, it was adult stuff. You know, people doing drugs, you know not to go over in Polk Street, uh, the Tenderloin, hang out over there. We skateboard over by Embarcadero, Golden Gate Park, Hate Street, we would do our thing. And it was no big thing, man. Wasn't nobody uh, pushing any hate towards anybody trans. Wasn't nobody, it was just like, you know, this is for adults. You had the, the Mitchell Brothers Theater. They had porn going on up in there. It was a lot, man. It was super lib. But it was, a, you know, adults over here, kids off bounds. You even have now gays against groomers that are coming out and speaking about how crazy this is and why are they targeting young people who haven't even developed enough sense to understand what they're going through emotionally. You know, when you're a, you're a young boy, you get, in, you know, you get into, you know, 15, 16, you start going through your, 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 uh, uh, hormone phase, your nuts drop, you, you know, you thinking different, got a little, little beard, you know, little, little, little shadow. You thinking, oh man, you know, I'm, I'm coming into manhood or, you know, a girl goes through her transitions. You know, things happen. Your body changes. You don't know what you're doing at eight, uh, six, seven, ten. You don't know what you're doing, what type of choices you're making. And these weak ass dads, these weak moms, oh, you know, oh, they, they wanted to, you know, do this. I knew. How do you know? How do you know? You, I knew girls that were tomboys that played Little League baseball with me, but they still, you know, to this day, they, they got husbands and children. What's going on, man? Target? Adidas? Sports Illustrated? And if you look at some of these policies and what they're saying, they're anti-Christian. They took the Bible out of the school, right? Because they said no prayer, None of that, but now you replaced it with the drag story hour. Took out Pledge of Allegiance.
But this other stuff is, you know, you're saying, oh, it's not a religion. What is it then? I've read that that was a religion back in the day. It was a type of pagan worship. There was a, uh, a, a, a God that was considered to be both male and female, and they had a whole ritual that, you know, men would dance around with, you know, uh, these 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 incisioners that they had some of them might cut off their genitals and it was it was all type of uh uh what do you what do you call it? just sexual acts going on so it was a it was a worship but how is that all right but it's not all right to have the bible in the class it's not all right to have the, the you know to have the pledge of allegiance or the constitution or the bill of rights in the class the fall of a republic man this country ain't based on a democracy it's based on a republic do your homework Sodom and Gomorrah type shit leave an opinion man leave a comment let me know what you think and if you are down with shopping at Target or wearing Adidas when they don't even give women any respect anymore and women where, where are you at they're not even giving you no respect it's a, I, I feel it's a slap in the face for a man to, to want to compete in women's sports or for a man to model a women's bathing suit and for a woman to want to buy it based on how a man looks in that swimsuit. I think it's total disrespect. Are you cool with it? Let me know. Big Herc 916. Stop walking around with a crusty butt, smelly ball sack, and a funky hoo-ha. Big Herc said wash that ass. Pick you up a t-shirt at FreshOutSeries.com. Hello, my name is Big Herc 916 and I'm with the Wash Your Ass Committee and I'm traveling across America helping people wash their ass and get their booty holes clean. And I have with me here today, Wash Your Ass Soap. And this one in particular is Butt Naked Scrub, but I also have Festival, Oatmeal Milk and Honey, you're making me crazy, um, monkey farts, and all these scents smell very good. They will help cleanse your body of funk and also make you feel better about yourself. So if you can go to BigKirk916.com, you can pick you up a bar. And my goal is to help America combat funk. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. Go to the Herc store at BigHerc916.com and pick you up a bar of soap so you can wash that ass. Or pick you up some Never Settle for Average merch or some of the Muscle Up Car Lifestyle merch. We have hats, Never Settle for Average. Got the Muscle Up t-shirts. We also have the Never Settle for Average tank tops. Got the Muscle Up Car Lifestyle hoodies. Got the beanie caps. Hey man, represent. And I know you guys aren't average, so pick you up some swag and step your game up. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.